Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of the 909 Kick build. Okay, so this is what the 909 Kick looks like when it's finished. Uh, as you can see it's very similar to the 909 uh, from Hexinverter. Uh, the only apparent difference is that there is no level knob uh, on, on my module because uh, I will probably have a sort of external mixer or, or a separate mixer module for for that. But apart from that it's uh, the 909 uh, with all the recommended uh, mods. And uh, if we look at the PCB a little bit closer we see that there are a couple of uh, patches. Uh, and uh, I've done a couple of changes to the design. Um, made a couple of mistakes. But uh, that is uh, sorted out. As you can see the noise generator takes up a lot of real estate here on the board. Uh, all this is uh, related to the, to, uh, to the um, uh, noise generator. And uh, I have an idea how to fix this because I'm not quite uh, happy with it. But uh, more on that later in the video. So, uh, so yeah, let's have a look at the schematic diagram and go through the design very briefly. Okay, so this is the first page of the schematic. Uh, there are five pages and uh, there are four blocks as you can see, so each of these have one page. So uh, I've done that to clean up the schematic a little bit, otherwise it will be too, uh, too busy, I think. All right, let's start with the first sub page and we have the noise module, uh, which is the, based on the 4015. Uh, so I'm not using the, the 4006. And uh, I have also included a buffer circuit here. So it's possible to uh, tap the, the noise source from, from the kick uh, module and uh, route it to other modules in the in the rack or in the case. All right, so uh, next page we have the trigger circuit and you can see the high and low triggers here on the top and on the bottom you have the uh, velocity dependent uh, triggers for attack and decay. Next we have the VCO and uh, CV generator and uh, as you can see here this is, in this uh, schematic it's very easy to see what, which, which part is the CV generator and what is the VCO core and here you have the sync circuit that uh, resets the capacitor at the start of the, of the kick sound. And finally we have the pulse generator, that is, uh, th this uh, part is used to uh, generate a transient at the start of the kick sound. Alright, and if we go back to the first page then we can see how everything is connected together. And um, uh, basically we have one path here with a VCU output that goes through the, the clipping circuit, through the VCA. Uh, to the bu output buffer and we have the pulse and noise generators that are mixed together here and uh, then they go through the um, the attack uh, VCA out to the output buffer so that is basically it and the rest of this is uh, euro rack uh, power connectors and and jacks and stuff like that. So if we look at the layout, it's a simple uh, two layer board like uh, most of my other or all of my other designs so far. And uh, there isn't much to say about this more than if we look at the 3D view here, it's a little bit clearer to see uh, all the components. And uh, as you can see, it's quite a busy board uh, with a lot of uh, components everywhere. And uh, a lot of space is taken up by, by the noise generator, as I already mentioned. And uh, here's the connector for uh, 
uh, connecting noise out from from this module to other modules in the in the UI rack. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, I will make an attempt to demo this kick with a steady forward to the floor beat and I'll wiggle some knobs and let's see what happens. Okay, so before I close this video, I would like to uh, discuss some improvements of, of the um, of the 909 kick that I'm thinking of. And uh, one of the things that I really like to have is a trigger button on, on the front, so you can trigger the sound just by by hitting that. And uh, also, I earlier mentioned the noise generator circuit. Um, I'm not very fond of having a, a cable that runs from one module to another on, on the back. So uh, my approach will be to redesign this and remove this because I also need that space for, for a button right. And instead I will use um, a noise module <clears throat> that is sort of piggybacked on the on the on the back of the module like this um, that has other advantages it's a, of course a little bit uh, more expensive because you for you need kind of four four of these i think for a complete 909 uh, set and um, so so it, it will cost a little bit more but uh, there are there are actually advantages with having a separate uh, uh, noise circuits on on the on each module instead of uh, using the same one. But we will talk more about that in in, uh, in a later video. All right. So uh, this is something that I'm planning to do to redesign this a bit. So, but if if you're not interested in that and, and think this is okay, I, uh, this is this design will work. So I have uploaded uh, all the files to GitHub already. So please go and grab those if you want to build one of these. And uh, and yeah, I think that's it. And uh, I have so many modules to build, so I will not redesign this right now. I uh, I the, the next module that I'm uh, working on is the um, snare, and it's uh, almost completed. 
so uh, so I will uh, I will get back with a video on that and um, until then take care and uh, I see you soon again goodbye